Hi everyone, I'm Alexis Johnson with Suburban Canine and today I am going to be reviewing a Furminator product. I have with me the Furminator uh, large sized long haired brush with the fur ejector button. Now overall, Furminator products can be used for both long and short coated dogs. Um, for our long coated dogs, they typically have an undercoat and then the coat that we see. And actually the hair that's ending up all around our house is the undercoat. We might think that it's the top coat that we see um, and that when we're petting our dogs, but actually double coated dogs shed their undercoat and not their top coat. So something to mention about the Furminator products in general is that there are quite a few products to choose from. The brush in particular can range anywhere from around $15 on Amazon to upwards of a little bit past $30. Now we might think $30 can be a little bit expensive for a dog brush, but I'm telling you, when you see this brush in action, you are going to say, 20 to 30 bucks is definitely worth it if I don't have to sweep every single day in my house from my dog's shedding. So a couple of pros that we talk about with this particular brush is that it has the fur ejector button up top. And so what that does is that helps the mechanism inside the brush push the fur off of the brush teeth, as we can see. So that helps us be able to control how much hair is flying around everywhere. With the fur ejector button, I would say that we could probably brush our dogs inside. If you choose to have a Furminator product without a fur ejector button, I would definitely suggest to brush your dog outside as the fur is just going to then blow in the wind and you don't so much have control as to when the brush releases the fur that is caught in the teeth. Another thing that's really nice about this brush and a lot of the Furminator products is that it has a really nice grip handle. It also has this little hole here on the end that if you don't have a storage container to put it into, you can hang it up somewhere on a nail or a hook or a command strip, something along those lines. So when we talk about the Furminator brush, we don't want to utilize this de-shedding brush on breeds that are very heavily curly coated. We want to use this brush on dogs who have short fur, such as like pity mixes or our pit bulls, our vislas, Dalmatians. We'll also utilize this brush on dogs like golden retrievers, German shepherds, possibly possibly even Great Pyrenees when they're in their shedding season. So what we are going to do today is we are going to go outside and we are going to demonstrate how much fur the Furminator brush of the undercoat, how much fur the Furminator brush can get out of our dogs. Now we are going to demonstrate on Margo and Margo was just professionally groomed on Sunday. So we know that she has had a lot of her undercoat blown out from the groomer, brushed out from the groomer, and as well as trimmed. But even just after three days of being home, we'll be able to see how much hair we can truly get off of Margo. We have Margo outside here to demonstrate and help us see how well the Furminator brush works. So just a couple swipes along her back, we press the fur <laughs> ejector button and it goes flying just three strokes on her back. Let's do four or five strokes here. Look at all of that <laughs> hair that is flying around. Now typically whenever I do bring Margo and my other dog Mookie outside to brush them. I will collect the fur and put it in a suet feeder for the birds. They like to collect it up and then put it into your into their nests every single year. So it's an idea if you like your neighborhood birds and want to give them something to make their nests with. But typically speaking, where we want to brush our dogs with a de-shedding brush is going to be on their body. And then oh, <laughs> look at that. That is crazy. And then also through like their haunches like their back end area. This isn't a brush that we'll want to utilize like around their head, their ears, or the backs of the front of their legs. We'll want to utilize this brush on their main body area and their back haunch area. Good girl, Margo. 
If you are interested in purchasing a Furminator dematting brush, make sure to follow the link beneath our video. Thanks so much.